Hey guys, so welcome to a new reading vlog. Uh, this is my second try. So I just wanted to greet you and say thank you for sticking with me out of, you know, I've been, I don't even know what I've been doing, okay? I've been very busy. So I just finished editing earlier my check-in as in uh, rambling and telling you what's going on in my life. So now we're going to go more of uh, fun, fun times. So, um... I, I've just finished making myself some gluten-free ramen. Um, I'm still gluten-free since the last time I talked to you, I think. I've been, well, since February, I've actually lost um, 15 pounds, which is great. And I feel better. Anxiety is non-existent, so I'm kind of happy. So with that, I'm actually currently working. I, I, caught a flu so right now I'm like in the end of it thank god last week was hell um so what I'm gonna do is explain to you what I'm reading then I'll tell you what I'm doing this week and then I have a mini book haul for you that I've accumulated since I have another book coming tomorrow so I'll show it to you tomorrow hopefully um so we're gonna start with I'm currently reading him like I said in my last video Serena Bowen L. Kennedy amazingness i did not read much yesterday maybe like 10 pages so i'm on page 80 of him enjoying it so much and the um morals and um uh, mostly like as much as i love smut i love the part where um, they're actually confronting each other and talking about their feelings and stuff so that's just what i need right now so yeah and I'm enjoying it. I'm going to continue reading it after. I'm currently watching Grey's Anatomy. I just finished Station 19. So that's pretty much what's going on. Also, uh, I need to finish Spy Family Volume 3. Um, one was amazing and hilarious. Second was like more three stars. It wasn't like I actually finished it last week, but it's all library uh, borrowing. So the second one was like three stars. It was like, okay, I just need more. <laughs> and I'm on book three and the third one right now it's like okay still so i'm if it's not giving me more than 3.5 or more stars i'm not sure if i'm gonna continue it but it's it's still okay um so that's pretty much what i'm doing this week i'm gonna try to finish those um and i'm actually off thursday and friday and thursday and friday actually thursday's we're gonna have 25 degrees okay we're i'm i'm not sure what in like fahrenheit what it would be all right so yeah so it would actually be 77 fahrenheit so it's actually gonna be nice um my boyfriend is gonna ask to be off uh she was her his boss was not in today so he's gonna talk uh to his boss tomorrow so i hope so because we want to go to the zoo um all right and then next, I'm going to show you the books that I've hauled. Uh, one more is coming tomorrow, and I'll talk to you tomorrow about that one. That one is, I'm actually very happy about it because there's a lot going on in my life, and that book represents a part of me, so I'm excited. All right, so first, Katie Colson keeps talking about this one. So it's called You've Lost a Lot of Blood by Eric LaRocca. First of all, look. Ah, just one sec. look at the cover it's so cool it's like painted like i don't know it's not watercolor it's more like oil paint very pretty so he says in the back each each precious thing i show you in this book is a holy relic from the night we both perished the night when i comb you from my hair and watered the moon with your blood you've lost a lot of blood um yeah i'm into it so, uh, and like, I'll show you, there's a lot of like photos and stuff, um, very different and look at the cover, like inside, um, hello, yeah, like I still want to be into f like, um, fiction, horror, mystery, thriller and stuff. So this is one that I picked up. It's really not thick. So it's technically 200 pages, so I'm into it. And then book number two, I picked up uh, by Jennifer McMahon, The Children of the Hill. Um, I saw this 
on i think i got an email about it from coming out from uh kobo i keep getting emails because i keep buying books <laughs> so this is actually one of the books uh they advertise and so it says here monsters are scary monsters are real beware of monsters especially those among us 1978 at her renowned treatment center in picturesque vermont the brilliant psychiatrist dr ellen hildreth is acclaimed for her compassionate work with the mentally ill but when she's home with her cherished grandchildren v and eric she's just grand providing them with care and attention and love then one day grand brings home a child to stay with the family iris silent hollow-eyed skittish and feral does not behave like a normal girl um, still, V is thrilled to have a new playmate. She and Eric invite Iris to join their monster club where they catalog all kinds of monsters and dream up ways to defeat them. Before long, Iris, V, and Eric do everything together because, as V explained, monsters are everywhere. Now, 2019, Lizzie Shelley, the host of the popular podcast Monster Among Us, is traveling to Vermont where a young girl has been abducted and a monster sighting has an entire town in uproar. She's de determined to hunt the monsters down because Lizzie knows better than anyone that monsters are real. And one of them is her own very, very own sister. Um, I'm here for it. I actually, when I bought this at uh, Indigo Chapters, the cashier, she's just like, oh, you got it. Like she was very excited for it too. Uh, so I have a big feeling it's going to be awesome. And then lastly today, I did pick up Vita Nostra. Uh, this is by Marina and Sergei Diashenko. Um, first of all, it's a hardback. I got it for eight dollars. Don't know why it was on sale for that much, but like, and it's not like it's perfect condition. Okay, there's a dot, and that's about it. Uh, so this one here, I think of what I can understand. So I'll just give you a little bit of it. It says the definitive English language translation of the international bestseller Russian novel, a brilliant dark fantasy combined psychological suspense, enchantment, and terror that makes us consider human existence in a fresh and provocating way. Our life is brief. While vacationing at the beach with her mother, Sasha Samokhina, meets the mysterious Farid Kosenikov. I know that didn't, that wasn't good. Anyways, we're going to call him Arthur. <laughs> uh, under the most peculiar circumstances, the teenage girl is powerless to refuse when this strange and unusual man with an air of the sinister direct her to come to perform a task with potentially scandalous consequence. He rewards her effort with a strange golden coin, which this coin can bring this person up to a different school of what I understood, like a village, and they learn different kind of technology and stuff. Uh, but against her mother's wishes, she actually goes and it just feel like it's gonna be good um this is actually one of the book that we were uh voting for on in katie uh colson's patreon um so i wanted to pick it up i found it for eight dollars yes i got it <laughs> so um yeah so i'll show you tomorrow the other book but right now i'm gonna let you go i'm gonna go eat before it gets very cold i have a feeling yeah it's already cold but it's okay. And um, I will try to update you tomorrow as where I'm at in him. Bye. <laughs>
Hey guys, so welcome back. It is currently Monday the 16th of May already. Last week was a full week of warm weather. Um, went to the zoo. I will show you. You probably have already seen it. I I did a lot of things and uh, I did not read as much as I was expecting. So I wanted to update you as to where I'm at right now. Uh, so this is him by Serena Bowen L. Kennedy and I'm really loving it right now. Um, I am halfway through around 184 out of 340. Um, there's a lot of like quotes in it that I really love. Um, you know, there's one boy that he's really close with his family and the other one that his father is very controlling, narcissist and all about, you better make me feel, look good and stuff like that. So, and I kind of relate more to the one you of you maybe you better make me look good so it's it's a lot but there is one quote that i really loved and he was approaching his this younger boy and um he was having a rough time with his father and trying to impress his father and he said um want want be good enough for my father never will be nothing is um that's one that i really liked sadly and another one that i really related to is, is it's kind of hard to trust them when i know they want me to fail that one hit hard like i just read it and i was like wow it's, it's so true um but it's it's going into very good territory uh, believe me there's a lot of smut in here like every two pages there's smut um which i like but i kind of feel like i want a story more which i'm very surprised because before i love romance but i love smut more but now i want the story and the friendship more so it's it's interesting <laughs> um you guys i want to say though but um i love being on here on youtube and just sharing you what i'm reading and stuff but i suck at actually telling you like word for word like book reviews and stuff or telling you about like how I feel about each book so I want to say just take what I say with a grain of salt I'm not the best book reviewer but I just want to share what I'm reading what I'm doing every day and it's, I'm not here to review books per se uh, I just want to enjoy them and talk about stuff that I like in them so that's something now uh, also I Okay, so I bought some fake nails um, on Amazon and they're full length and I bought a cutter and everything and I did them myself. I'm very impressed and I love the color. I actually, it's only nail polish and um, yeah, I love them, okay? Love them. Anyways, also I just put in some random yellow eyeshadow because I feel like being bright and happy. Um, I'm currently working right now. It's 8 12 p.m. And I want to cut this video short I did not finish him, but I will finish it in my next reading vlog and um, But before I close this video out as I told you last uh, clip that I Wanted I was another book that was coming on my way that I wanted to talk to you about so uh, I think like a month ago I officially finally was able to see a psychiatrist and got diagnosed with BPD, which is borderline personality disorder. Uh, me, for me, it's more, it's not like you have to have at least eight points and I got five. So she told me, it's like, you have tendencies of that, but you're not completely that. Um, and for me, it's um, giving my emotions, which makes sense for the whole book review. And also anger. When I feel anything as emotions, I get angry. And I lash out so that's um I'm not surprised at that at all because when I was younger uh, I it was a lot but I think it's um I'm on I was only a kid and I I literally lived with whatever someone like my parents gave me and that's where I'm at but with that so with that I got her by Felisa Johnson and um, this book is about a girl that has BPD, but she's more severe. Um, BPD um, has a lot of tendencies of um, you feel nothing, you feel empty. So by f you want to feel something, so you go boyfriend to boyfriend. You feel you start having drugs, you start cutting yourself. You go very intense, and a lot of people 
tend to get like suicide because they can't feel anything but in that moment that they're dying they're finally feeling something um it's very dark it's a for me it's not i'm not as bad like nothing of those things is me me it's more angry for not like little things and um not knowing how to actually vocalize how i'm feeling so this book is um i really want to get into it uh, i really hope it's good if you have any recommendation of um you know fiction or non-fiction about stories of people with bpd like i would really really appreciate it just because i'm new to this i'm learning and i just want to get better and yeah it's a lot so i'm just gonna read the back i'm just gonna read like the first chapter because this is a long long one so it says that as many ways Kristen Ailey is a normal 17 year old girl Kristen loves her family she works hard academically and to please her mother she takes on additional responsibility care for her twin sibling Nick and Allison she idolized her best friend Lexus who not only seems to lead the perfect life but she catches the attention of John the boy Kristen secretly loved however as is the case with many teenagers Kristen feels frustrated isolated and confused um she's not like other kids at her age she knows something is wrong with her kristen feels like an utter failure she can't manage to please her abrasive mother she's scared to com confront her abusive stepfather jack and protects nick from him and she'll never be as beautiful as lexus kristen finds solace in self-injury and she compassion of mr sharp her imaginary friends who encourage her feeling of self-loathing um after failed suicide attempt kristen is placed in a mental hospital called bent creek and diagnosed with borderline personality disorder bpd which in the hospital she meets a group of peers who suffers with their own set of mental illness and a compassionate staff of doctors and counselors who takes tremendous amount of interest in the adolescent in adolescent adolescent i am my french it's not working anyways <laughs> Um, place in their care. From there, Kristen leads up to a journey to find out the circumstance that brought her to this breaking point in her life. She tells the story of her battle. So, I think I'm really going to connect to this. Uh, this author is, I think she's a public speaker as well. Um, the book is big, there's a lot of spaces too. So, I think I'm, I really want to read this this month or next month um, very soon. I'm just struggling to read a lot right now. But, it seems very good and I if you want to read more about BPD I think this would be a good introduction in a way I, I do have other books that eventually I'll do a video with sit down and talk about BPD and like my whole thing but I'm interested um, so before I close out also I'm still reading him I'm gonna try to finish it and give you uh, I want to show you what I did when I went to the zoo and all the clips there um it was really pretty and i just i love this i love animals petting zoo was the best the best so i'll show you some clicks of that um but just know that what i'm gonna continue reading is him and then i want to pick this one up because it's katie colson's um book of the month uh pick for the book club um so i want to read this it's notes on an execution by dania kukafka um i don't know what it's about um i think it's someone that's on that row and he's finally telling the story of what happened so I'm excited but with that I'm gonna let you go uh, just know I'm really enjoying him um, I'm gonna go read a little bit more and I will be back next week with a vlog with finishing him and hopefully starting this beast and her hopefully but uh, I want to thank you so much for watching my channel don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below I just want to make more videos and I hope you have a great rest of your week Bye.